ஹாய் வெல்கம் பேக் டு த சேனல் மான்சூன் ஹேஸ் அரைவ்ட் இன் மெனி பிளேசஸ் பட் வி ஆர் அட் தி எண்ட் ஆஃப் திஸ் சம்மர் திங்ஸ் ஐ லைக் அபவுட் திஸ் சம்மர் அதர் தென் த மேங்கோஸ் ஆர் திஸ் இஸ் த பெஸ்ட் சீசன் டு ட்ரை அண்ட் மேக் பிக்கிள்ஸ் அண்ட் த லாண்ட்ரி ட்ரைஸ் வெல் இன் கப்பிள் ஆஃப் ஹவர்ஸ் டுடே ஐ எம் ஹியர் வித் டூ ஆஃப் மை ஃபேவரட் பிக்கிள் ரெசிபீஸ் அண்ட் எம்மி லன்ச் ரெசிபி டு ட்ரீட் யுவர் டேஸ்ட் பட்ஸ் I got this amla from a friend's farm. It was quite in good quantity. As the sun is shining, I am utilizing this time to sundry the pickle. I also bought two mangoes from nearby market and trying it along with amla. Soak the amlas in salt and water for two days. Soaking it along with green chilli adds extra taste. As I don't have the stock of green chilli, I am skipping it. After the two days, draining the water and drying it in the sun. If it is full sun, One day is enough to dry them well, but I got a chance of 4 hours sun and in the afternoon it started to rain. For mango pickle, cutting the mangoes in big cubes and adding red chili powder, salt and turmeric powder, mixing it well with the chopped mango and keeping it to rest for 15 to 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, I took both the items to the terrace to dry it. Cover them with the mesh bag to protect it from dust and birds. After keeping them to dry, I came back to the kitchen to prepare lunch, clearing the counter from breakfast mess. When I stepped inside from the scorching sun, I was so thirsty. Thought of refreshing myself with lemon juice. Extracted juice of one lemon into a mixer jar along with salt, sugar and water. Pulsing it in the mixer for a few seconds. I took a small break and then moving into kitchen to make lunch. Today's lunch is vegetable biryani with gobi fry and onion raita. I chopped the vegetables for biryani and gobi fry, extracted 2 cups of coconut milk while preparing breakfast and kept it in the fridge. For cauliflower fry, chopped it and washed it in water and soaking it in hot water for a while. heating a pressure cooker for biryani meanwhile chopping the required vegetables into the pressure cooker adding a teaspoon of oil and ghee along with whole spices cloves cardamom and star anise then adding one chopped onion and a teaspoon of salt salt helps the onion to cook faster when the onion is well cooked adding ginger garlic paste and sauteing it for 2 to 3 seconds then adding red chili powder coriander powder and garam masala sauteing it for 5 to 6 seconds and adding two small tomatoes covering the lid to cook the tomatoes biryani tastes better when the onion and tomatoes are roasted or cooked well in the oil and ghee while the tomatoes are cooking soak the rice and marinate it the cauliflower marinating it with ginger garlic paste chicken 65 masala salt dried methi leaves and a teaspoon of corn flour mixing it well with the masala and keeping it aside for a while tomatoes are nicely cooked adding carrot beans and peas and covering the lid to cook the vegetables once the vegetables are cooked well adding a handful of mint and coriander leaves and sauteing it till it reduces its volume then adding soaked basmati rice and giving a good mix for a minute and adding 2 cups of extracted coconut milk check the salt and let it boil when you start see the bubbles close the lid and pressure cook on medium low flame for 5 minutes after 5 minutes switch off the flame and let it be on pressure for some time meanwhile frying the cauliflower As I mentioned early there was a rain in the afternoon took back the amla and mango from the terrace have to keep it in sun again tomorrow to dry them well
and this is the day 2 i am keeping them to dry again home train won't disturb the drying process after keeping them to dry came back to wash the travel bags i thought this is the right time to wash them before the monsoon starts last week i was traveling to my hometown i have this habit of washing and storing the travel bags after the travel how many of you are like me let me know in the comment section after washing the bags i thought of washing the floor mats which are quite thick and takes time to dry I also changed the beddings and floor mats after travel since it is a sunny day it doesn't need much time to dry How do you utilize the sunny days before the monsoon starts let me know in the comment section After washing the mats, cleaning the washing machine with the dishwasher detergent and adding a cup of vinegar in the fabric softener tray, setting the machine to run on hot test cycle. And this is the third day. Amla and mangoes are dried well. Today I am going to prepare the pickle. Both pickle requires same ingredients. Adding 2 teaspoons of roasted fenugreek seeds and 25 to 30 garlic cloves into a mixture jar and grating it into a coarse mixture. For amla pickle into a kadai, adding some sesame oil and mustard seeds and curry leaves. Then goes into the fenugreek and garlic paste, roast it in oil for 5 to 10 seconds. Then adding chilli powder, salt, turmeric powder and hint. Roast it for 4 to 5 seconds and turn off the flame. And then adding the dried amla, mix it well and let it cool down completely and transfer it into an airtight container. For the mango pickle into a kadai, adding some sesame oil, mustard seeds and curry leaves then goes into the ground. Fenugreek and garlic paste, roast it in oil for 5 to 10 seconds. I already added chilli powder, salt and turmeric powder while drying the mangoes. So here I am adding chilli. Turn off the flame and add the dried mango pieces. Mix it well with the masala paste and keep it aside to cool down. The mats and travel bags are dried well, keeping them in its place. And in the evening, transfer the pickle from kadai to the bottle. That's all about today's video. If you like the content, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.